Girl refuses to comb hair until hairdresser uncovers the real problem. Maria had been cutting and styling hair for the past four years now she was sure she'd seen everything her profession had to offer but then she met Lucy. She welcomed her into the salon with a smile seeing another mess of hair waiting for her to conquer but as she began listening to her story she realized she might have been biting more than she could chew. Before we go on like this video smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell let's proceed with the video. Maria started working as a hairdresser well before she finished high school she'd always had a knack for making people smile with their looks and with hairdressing she could do just that. She started helping out at her aunt's salon for a quick buck in her senior year going to college she knew she wanted to focus on hairdressing she had no idea how much impact it would have on her life. Two years later Maria found employment as a hairstylist in her city she quickly grew out to be one of the best in her profession. She won multiple awards and people would come from far and wide to visit her as did Lucy who would change Maria's job for good. Maria couldn't believe the mess of hair that she would work on today she'd never seen something like this before. Luce's hair was the result of years of bad hair care however that wasn't even the biggest of problems as her hair held even more secrets. A small hour into the haircut Maria got the shock of her life when she saw what was inside Luce's hair. She knew she had no other choice than to call the police but when they arrived Lucy jumped out of the barber seat and made a run for it. That Saturday was a busy one for Maria and her colleagues. The salon was packed with each stylist booked throughout the weekend but as Maria was finishing up on one of her regulars she noticed a teenage girl peeking through the windows. She paid her no mind given many people peeped in to see what was happening inside the salon but what the girl did made Maria set aside her comb. The girl dressed in a pair of grey sweats and an oversized hoodie stepped into the salon. She ran her blue eyes across the crowd her hood over her head and her fingers fidgeting by her sides Maria could tell she was nervous. She set her clippers aside and faced her with a smile but the girl turned around and stormed out of the shop. Excuse me Bethany Maria apologized to her client and weaved through the busy salon into the street hey she called out. The girl was almost turning a corner come back Maria said. The girl stopped turning around. There was apparent fear in her eyes and her lips trembled. She looked away from Maria please come back Maria repeated her lips curling again she needed to know if the girl was alright. What's your name Maria asked when the girl walked back to her the girl mumbled Lucy and Maria shared hers. Do you want to come in she asked. We have milkshakes and great stories although the girl nodded and entered the shop Maria could tell she was still uneasy. She escorted her through the many chairs clients and stylists when the girl lowered her hood Maria knew why she'd run away. Cut it all the girl said as Maria stared at her hair it was matted and messy with thick blobs that hadn't seen a comb in a long while why you want me to cut it Maria asked already seeing that she'd have to clear her schedule for the rest of the day. Because it's worthless said the girl I'm worthless her eyes grew wet with tears please cut it all. Let's take it slow Maria said soothingly we'll start with a comb first really work through the motions she broke a sweet smile we'll use the clippers as a last resort okay. The girl looked at her quizzically but nodded why do you care she asked what she said next made Maria's heart rip into two. Nobody ever cares the girl shared the reality was that Lucy had gone through terrible hardships in her life losing everything she had. It all started when she lost her mother as a small child with her mom not being there anymore she felt so down neglected and worthless that she couldn't even brush her hair. As a result of Lucy neglecting herself and her father not being able to take proper care of her she started getting targeted at school the kids would call her terrible names and Lucy would come home crying nearly every day. Not a day went by that I didn't dread going to school it was the worst place imaginable for me. While the other kids were having fun and making friends I would always be sitting in a corner alone without anyone to play with Lucy told Maria and this was only the beginning of a very hard upbringing. Lucy's father didn't take his wife's death lightly and started drinking a lot by the time Lucy got home from school he would be totally intoxicated and could barely speak to Lucy. Lucy had no one to care for her or even help her once in a while everything she did she did on her own. At 12 years old she wasn't the girl she should have been but you could basically call her an adult. She cooked cleaned and even had to make sure that her dad didn't drink himself to death. 
Maria's eyes started to well up hearing Luce's story how could a girl her age just be left to faith with no one looking around at her? She couldn't imagine the pain she had gone through and realized it left a big scar on Lucy as a person strangely enough her youth wasn't even the worst of it. When Lucy got older she realized that her father needed serious help. She couldn't keep caring for him in this state and he got sent to a rehabilitation center this however meant that Lucy now was completely appointed to her own. With her father doing better in the rehabilitation center Lucy finally got some hope back in her life. She started taking better care of herself and being 18 years old she even went to clubs and bars to have fun doing that it didn't take her long to meet a special someone. One night while going out she met Ben and their relationship proceeded in a tearing rush after just four months of being together Ben asked Lucy to marry him and she got pregnant short after. After all the darkness that was seemingly ever present in her life things finally took a turn for the better until something sent Lucy right back into a major depression. Lucy would have a regular checkup on their baby in the hospital once a month everything was going fine the baby seemed healthy and after a few months the ultrasound showed that they were expecting a boy. Lucy was over the moon but not everything in the ultrasound was hopeful. The doctor told Lucy that the baby was lying in an unusual position and she had to be very careful with sudden movements. The more rest she took the better it was for her baby Lucy didn't want to risk anything so she reluctantly took early maternity leave from her work she told Maria strangely enough her story stopped there. Listening to her story broke Maria's heart she cleared her entire weekend squeezing in her clients to some colleagues. She sat with the girl throughout the day powering through hours of combing and cleaning could she stop her from cutting her locks? As the day ended Maria turned the girl around in the mirror they'd reduced what was once a mass of matted curls into a more manageable lump of tangled hair the girl smiled her first smile of the day but Maria knew they still had more work to do. She smiled back and asked the girl if she could return the next day. Maria rarely opened the salon on Sunday mornings but this was a special occasion. She wasn't sure the girl would show up but as she pushed the door open she saw her reflection behind her. Come in she chirped ushering the girl into the salon the girl dressed differently than the previous day. She'd swapped her sweatpants and hoodie for a flowing blue dress and her dark hair was free did she seem happier Maria would find out Maria picked up where she left with the girl's hair she asked her what length she was comfortable with and her preferred styles. Although the girl was reluctant to talk sometimes Maria thought she was exciting and lovely to talk to. They spent hours together Maria found her to be delightful and was enjoying the work until she noticed a problem. While most of the huge blobs and matted portions of her hair had been fixed there was still a lot of damage near the scalp Maria frowned as she wondered how to proceed. They had made so much progress that Maria worried that the girl might slip back into her sadness and feel hopeless again if she mentioned it she came up with a plan instead. Maria knew she had to buy some time to make sure she could come up with a better solution if she stared at the girl's head for too long without working she might get suspicious. Maria's mind raced as she tried to think of ways to prolong the situation while she could work out what to do her fear was that if she couldn't find a suitable fix she'd end up having to resort to cutting after all. Maria has been successful in the hairstyling profession because she was talented however with Maria her customers knew she rendered another service that was priceless. With her older clients Maria always felt comfortable and her added services flowed naturally. However the girl's issues and the weight she carried made it a tricky situation to navigate. Maria knew that if she could get the girl to open up a little more she could look for common ground with her she desperately wanted to help her more she had proven easily scared of before so Maria knew she'd have to approach with caution. She took a deep breath and began asking her some questions to see how it went. Maria was itching to learn more about her she obviously carried around a lot on her shoulders especially for someone so young. It pained Maria to know that the poor girl was going through so much it was a lot to take for anyone in her position however Maria also had a personal reason for wanting to help her. Maria changed tact at that moment rather than asking the girl to open up and risk her feeling uncomfortable Maria decided to speak about her past instead. While the girl was occupied hearing about Maria's own tragic childhood Maria used this time to figure out a solution for her hair as she spoke an idea soon came to her. 
Maria realized that the last clumps of matted hair were too small and delicate to extract without hurting the girl. However, if left that way they could also grow out and mess up her hair again. Maria realized that if she could delicately apply a relaxer treatment to those portions it would untangle the hair for her it wouldn't be easy though. Maria kept the girl engaged in conversation as she executed her plan with the delicacy of a surgeon. Luckily being so good at what she did Maria could work in the relaxer without getting any of it on the girl's scalp. With bated breath she allowed it to settle and waited at last she saw it beginning to work however what Maria saw on Luce's scalp made her panic. Not being sure of what to do Maria came up with an excuse to go to the back where Lucy couldn't hear or see her. Rushing to the back she immediately pulled her cell phone from her pocket and called the police. She'd never done something so drastically but Maria knew she had no other choice. Maria moved back to Lucy with the excuse that she needed some more of the relaxer from the back it was the first time in a long while that Lucy felt completely at ease and she was even smiling every so often. She hadn't done that for years mere moments later sirens could be heard in the distance and Lucy's mood visibly changed. Lucy entered a state of stress, and she clearly felt uneasy in the barber's seat she kept looking around and kept her eyes fixated on the entrance of the hair salon at every chance she got. Maria tried to calm her down but that was to no avail when the sirens got closer and a police car stopped in front of the hair salon Lucy jumped up and ran for the back door. Maria couldn't grasp what had just happened she had only wanted to help Lucy and didn't expect the situation to escalate so rigorously. Maria tried to run after Lucy, but when she reached the back door Lucy was nowhere to be seen anymore Lucy's secret must be even bigger than Maria expected. Back in the hair salon Maria explained the situation to the police officers and they immediately saw the seriousness of it. The officers rushed back to their car and went patrolling in the direction Maria saw Lucy running whoever did this to her can't get away with it. With a description of what Lucy looked like and the blue dress she was wearing the officers tactically swept all the blocks in the neighborhood there was no way she had gotten far in such a short time. They were adamant about finding Lucy and, in the back of their heads knew they had no other choice must they not find Lucy things would only start to get worse for her. She couldn't possibly keep going on like this and they wanted to find her before things took an even darker turn. However hours later the sky started turning dark and Lucy was nowhere to be seen. Having heard the story Lucy told Maria the officers knew that the only place Lucy had was home with her husband. They decided to do a routine search there arriving at the address they encountered her husband, Ben. Ben told the officers he hadn't seen Lucy anywhere since yesterday he had no idea where she could be. Leaving the address one of the officers felt something was off about Ben however he couldn't put his finger on it. The officers kept patrolling the area hoping to encounter Lucy somewhere. She couldn't have just disappeared could she later that day one of the officers still felt Ben was acting strange. He didn't seem even a bit sad or moved by Lucy going missing they decided to return back to Lucy's address. Walking up to the house's front door the officers heard a weird ticking sound it almost sounded like a window being tapped on in a steady manner. Ben was agitated by the officers arriving at his house again. He wasn't pleased a bit and told the officers to get a warrant if they wanted to enter again reluctantly the officers started heading back to their car until something strange happened. Returning to their car the officers were greeted by the same ticking sound again wanting to know where it came from they started looking around the house. After having done a nearly full circle the officers spotted something that made them shiver in their skin they were on the right track. Without a single doubt, the officers knocked on Ben's door again waiting for Ben to open the door. Both of the officers held their hands on their weapon belts. A minute earlier one of the officers spotted that the ticking sound came from the basement window at the left side of the house a woman in distress could be seen there it just had to be Lucy. The door opened when the officers pulled Ben out of the house and cuffed him to one of the patio's girders. While one of the officers kept an eye on Ben the other officer rushed to the basement and freed the woman who was hidden there after all it turned out to be Lucy why was she locked up in the basement and what had Ben to do with it. Both Ben and Lucy were taken to the police office to explain what happened it turned out that Lucy had been suffering domestic abuse for years. 
Her husband Ben wanted full control of their relationships and both physically and mentally abused Lucy while doing so. This was also one of the reasons why Lucy let herself go again Ben didn't give Lucy any chance to care for herself and she had to do whatever Ben said. Earlier that year, Lucy had a miscarriage caused by Ben's abuse Lucy told the officers the same story she had told Maria but revealed the reason why the baby was in an unusual position. The day before yesterday and yesterday she made up an excuse to leave the house for Ben so she could visit Maria at the hair salon. When Maria saw the scars on her scalp she immediately knew that they had to be caused by domestic abuse she had only tried to help Lucy but why would she flee? I was scared of getting in even more trouble Lucy told the officers I'd already accepted that my life wouldn't change for the better she added to that. What she didn't know was that from this point on everything would take a change for the better and she could finally find some joy back in her life. Fast forwarding a month Lucy was employed by Maria to help out at the hair salon and Maria gave Lucy a place to stay until she got back on her feet. Ben was arrested for abuse and liberty deprivation and would spend 20 years in prison after all the hardships Lucy finally had some light shining her way. What did you think of this story let me know your thoughts in the comments like the video and subscribe see you next time.